interesting today. Now, we knew that the Trump trial, this is the Alvin Bragg trial, would end at least by 2 p.m. today. So what we've heard now from the trial, there's no video and there's no audio for this trial. So you just get regular reporting. And, of course, President Trump came out after the trial uh, decided to close it for the days. You've had the opening statements now done by both the prosecution and the defense. They've also called their first witness. Then President Trump uh, decided he would speak uh, to the press. Can we play that for some of our audience? I think that's important uh, just to kind of, again, see his kind of reaction to her, his first day in court. And they call it a legal expense. That's the exact term they used, legal expense in the books. And another thing that wasn't even said was we never even deducted it as a tax deduction. So that takes a whole of us here. Most people want to deduct everything. We never even took it as a tax deduction. But they call the payment to a lawyer a legal expense in the books. They didn't call it construction. They didn't say you're building a building. It called a payment to a lawyer because, as you know, Cone, uh, is a lawyer, represented a lot of people over the years. Now, I'm not the only one. And wasn't very good in a lot of ways in terms of his representation. But he represented a lot of people. But he puts in an invoice or whatever, a bill, and they pay it, they call it a legal expense. I got indicted for that. What else would you call it? Actually, nobody's been able to say what you're supposed to call it. If a lawyer puts in a bill, or an invoice, and you pay the bill, and in the book, it's a little line, that's a very small little line. I don't know if you could even write more than two words. It's not like you could tell a life story. They marked it down to a legal expense. This is what I got indicted on. Think of it. I got indicted. I'm the leading candidate. I'm beating Biden. I'm beating the Republicans now. I have the nomination. And this is what they try and take me off the trail for. That checks being paid to a lawyer. He is a lawyer, or was a lawyer. And also the things he got in trouble for were things that had nothing to do with me. He got in trouble, he went to jail. This had nothing to do with me. This had to do with the taxi cab company that he owned, which is just something he owned, and medallions and borrowing money and a lot of things, but it had nothing to do with me. He represented a lot of people over the years. But they take this payment and they call it a legal expense and you heard it today for the first time this is what i got indicted over this is what took me off and takes me off the campaign trail because i should be in georgia now i should be in florida now i should be in a lot of different places right now campaigning and i'm sitting here and this will go on for a long time it's very unfair the judges conflicted as you know it's very unfair what's going on and i should be allowed to campaign and whoever heard of this, he got indicted for that? People in the court just said to me, I can't believe it. This is the case. So we did nothing wrong. The other thing is, if this were such a great case, why didn't the Southern District bring it? Who looked at it, turned it down? Why didn't uh, numerous other agencies and law enforcement groups look at it? Because it was shown to everybody. And very importantly, why didn't the federal elections do anything about it, because this is federal, it's not state. They're trying to make it a state case, whatever. And it's not state, it has nothing to do, it's never happened before, I believe, it never happened before. This has never happened before, where the state tries to insert itself in federal elections. Never, nobody's ever seen it. But you know, federal elections took a total pass on it. They said essentially nothing was done wrong, or well, they would have done something about it. They're tough. They would have done something about it. But they said nothing, and they said, we're going to take a pass. Because they couldn't even believe it. Actually, if you read their, their letter, they couldn't even believe it. it. They were incredulous. And yet, Bragg picks it up. Now, with Bragg, if you look, when he first came in, he didn't want to do it. He didn't want to do it. Now, when are they going to look at Pomerantz and what Pomerantz did? Because that's bad stuff. And when are they going to look at all the lies that Cohen uh, did in the last trial? He got caught lying in the last trial. So he got caught lying, pure lying. And when are they going to look at that? This is over whether or not when he put down the, the expense to Stephanie Richards, Stormy Daniels, for her to be quiet 
about whether or not she had this relationship, which she in the past has said she hadn't had. All it was was, did he put the expense down correctly? Now, remember, that was the initial charge was, did you do the right business expense? To make it a felony, now that's just a misdemeanor. You pay a fine. To make it a felony, they had to tie it to a federal, a federal election crime. And so 34 of these incidents, because of the 34 payments, that they're trying to make into an election crime, again, I think we'll hear from reporters. I don't think you're getting a lot from today. You're going to get, again, witness one. Yeah. You're going to get some wild witnesses in this one. I mean, you're getting Stormy Daniels, Cohen, uh, Pecker, guys from, I mean, you know, the, the news of the world and the, the, yep. the National Enquirer. I mean, it is a, uh, it's about as Trump as tr- it can get. I've been following the trial really closely. If people want more information about that, we don't have cameras there, only reporters. So Yeah, I wanted you, to bring that up. I, yeah, r- real because quick. People are asking, and I mean, I was calling our guys like, are we going to see this? Why wouldn't no, we see this? You're not going to see, you're not going to see, uh, sa- you're not going to hear sound, you're not going to see images or video. So there's nothing live. It's not like what was happening in Georgia. And that's specific to New York. And that's because of the witnesses and the, and the and as well, the, the, uh, the jury. So uh, reporters are allowed in. So they will then give their opinion of what happened today, you know, and what happened tomorrow. And then you'll have to kind of take it in. And I think, again, go to trusted news sources. Don't go overly obsessive with all this stuff. Realize, uh, again, that we're just going to get probably opening statements. We might get to one witness, uh, Pecker, today, who, again, comes from the pretty wild times in the uh, the news of the world. and the uh, uh, But he's no longer you know, he's not with those companies. And, um, again, that's if both the prosecutors and the defense get through their opening statements, that you would then go to the prosecution. They'd bring their first witness, supposedly, he is their first witness. We we don't know that a hundred percent, but that did leak. We don't even have a witness list. Yep. Usually, you have that. We don't even have a hundred percent confirmed uh, witness list, Logan. But we do know that the that the trial is beginning, and it will not go a uh, very long today. Only till about uh, two p.m. Eastern uh, time. This is the first uh, criminal trial. This criminal trial wants to be done in about eight to nine weeks. Yep. I mean, this is where they would so like to put him behind bars. So it would take us to you know, midsummer. Midsummer. About nine weeks, and then you're about, what, three, four months from the general election? Yeah, but, I mean, that's just one trial. I mean, so, and this is another one that, again, this wants to put him behind bars. This is not a civil trial. This is a criminal trial uh, by Alvin Bragg. So, again, it kind of got ahead of where we thought things were gonna mo- were going to move, and it started moving much quicker when they got the jury selected a lot quicker than they thought that was going to happen. Um, it, it only took about two days, two and a half days, and people thought it might even take over a week, plus this Passover week, things like that. They would slow p- things potentially down. There's been some issues with the judge there as well. Those did get picked up.